Hello everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymommy.scrimpingup.net So today I'm going to share this lovely card with you I'm going to show you how to make it It's really, really easy It's a shutter card uh, I've not invented it, they're all over Pinterest Lots of different ways of making them um, I shared this one on my virtual team retreat recently And I used the Whale of a Time paper So these are fussy cut from the paper And the little turtles And then this is some stamping from the, from the stamp set that goes with the suite So it opens like so and it's called a shutter card because you've got this effect here uh, it's really really cool and then it shuts like so as you can see you can make some beautiful scenes depending on which DSP you use um, I've gone for quite a nice scene here using the whale of a time or you can just uh, go really really busy and do every panel different and just really have fun with your paper so our stamping up paper which we call DSP um, designer series paper is 15 a lot of it is 15 percent off um, at the moment so if you jump on over to the stamping up shop and have a look and um, the whale of the time is included as is the snowflake splendor which is what I'm going to make my card with today so we're going to start with a piece of whisper white you can use whatever color card stock you want I'm using white because it shows off the paper that I'm going to use really beautifully so you cut it to it's you start with a 12 by 12 and you cut it down to 12 by 9 and then we're going to start scoring on the 12 inch side we're going to score at 3 6 and 9 Okay, and then we're going to go, we're going to turn it on the short side and we're going to put it to the 6 inch mark. So there's the 6 inch mark. And then we're going to do some cutting and this is where if you don't have a scoreboard like this with measurements down the side, get a pencil and ruler and mark this measurement out and then cut it with a craft knife or with your trimmer that doesn't have measurements. So we're going up to the 6 inch mark. I'm getting my trimmer here and I'm going to the 1.5 inch mark on the far side here okay so that my cut will start at one and a half inches all right i'm just lining it up there's a little line on the outer edge of the blade and you can you can line it up okay so just take your time line it up then press it flat put it in and your blade will pop into the card and then we're going to cut all the way down here and then we're going to stop let me just move I'll just put my arm in and we're going to stop at the ten and a half inch mark okay so we're like slicing that card stop from one and a half inch down to ten and a half okay so as you approach ten inches just slow down carefully and when your blade measures up with that ten and a half inch mark on your cutter then stop Alright, like I say, if you don't have this kind of trimmer, do that with a pencil. Alright, measure in six inches and then measure down one and a half to ten and a half. Right, so then what we're going to do, just to make it really simple, we're going to just turn the whole thing around, okay, and we're going to go to the six inch mark and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going up with our cutter, we're finding the one and a half inch mark there. Bob it down, pop the blade in, and go up to ten and a half again, and then stop. And then we can remove it. Okay, just going to bob that to one side a minute. Then you're going to cut two pieces. This is going to make the front and back cover. It's just going to make your card more sturdy, so it stands up nicely. It's also give, going to give it a mini album effect. So these need to be ten and a quarter by four and a quarter. You cut them both the same. And then what you need to do is score both of them on all four sides at half an inch. That's just We're just going to fold it over to give even more stability. So we'll do that now. Score on all four sides at half an inch. Bob those to one side and I'll show you what to do with them in a moment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring our card over. Our, this is going to be our card base. What you need now is a ruler and some, some sort of score tool. 
So what you're going to do first of all is you're going to start from the left side, you're going to fold all of that in and then back like a you know concertina style okay so that you've got that all right then to make these pop out what you need to do is go back to where you've got that cut where it starts at one and a half inch okay you're not going to have a score mark you've got a score mark there between there you haven't got one between that cut so get a ruler and create a, a score line so that you can fold that card and join up them two cut lines okay the best that you can doesn't matter if it's not perfect but do your best and just score it just to break up those fibers so that you can fold that and do the same at the other side okay. if you don't have a, a bone folder use something with a rounded end it'll be fine just anything that will make an indent in the card without ripping it or cutting it okay right. so then what you want to do is where you foot where you've just done that score line okay lift all of that out and fold that over and then give it a crease okay and then the middle one will then go in and that one will go and then you go to the other side where you've done the score line and fold that outwards as well all right so that's really really simple so where you've done the scores you put your creasing them outwards that one goes inwards and then just come down here and what you're going to do is pop that one in so it will go like that okay the light's probably a little bit bright on that let me see if i can let me go and get a piece of uh, black card stock so i can show you better that. put it underneath some black card stock that might be slightly better so you've got that okay and when it all folds up you've got an m shape then on there you've got a W and then an M, okay? So this is where we've done the scars, that folds in and then it all folds in and you give it a big crease, all right? Try and get it all to line up and then give it all a big, a big burnish all the way around. Don't worry if it's not 100% perfect because we're gonna put some covers on. So if you can see this little bit protruding here, it doesn't matter, okay? That's just the way it's folded, with, that's why we're doing covers. So at this point, don't worry if everything is not exact. All right, because we're gonna put covers on that. So then we're gonna start and we're gonna layer the inside of here with beautiful, beautiful DSP, okay? Now I've pre-cut mine. So what we need is for the top row, the bottom row and the two inner panels there you need DSP that's cut to two and three quarters by two and three quarters and then here and here these panels are smaller okay so those want to be cut to two and three quarters by one and a quarter all right so all the rest one two three four five six seven eight nine ten are all two and three quarters by two and three quarters so you need ten Okay, I'm only doing the front, I'm not doing the back, you can do the back if you want. And then you need four, which measure two and three quarters by one and a quarter. I've pre-cut all of mine, all ready to save time. Okay, right, so let me just grab, I'm going to actually use my stamp and seal. It's just going to be a lot easier for me. All right, so I'm going to start and layer these up. I'm just going to turn it around so I can see. Okay, and just push that flat a minute while I add these on. And if you use something like the stamp and seal, rather than glue, it will be quicker to do. And also, uh, if you've got a lot of glue on some cardstock, sometimes it can go a bit bendy and a bit warped. Using the stamp and seal means your paper won't warp at all. All right, you've just got to be careful. Because you don't get the same wiggle time, but it's just, they're just basic squares, so they're not difficult. And if it's not 100% perfect, it doesn't matter, it's handmade. Okay, oops. Right, so that's those sides done. 
So now I'm going to do the centre. Which did I choose for the centre? I chose this lighter coloured one. So it's all from the same DSP pack, the uh, Snowflake Splendor. Oh, don't want to. Okay, you can flatten it down so you can see what you're doing. And I find that if you get one side kind of straight, then put your fingers on it and then commit. That's the kind of trick to it. Let me just shut my blinds. Okay, so hopefully you can see better now. I've adjusted the lighting on my camera, so I'll keep on going. And I'm adding these panels to my card base. And that is that one. Okay. There we go. So that's all of those done. So again, the smaller ones fold in, and that middle one folds backwards, and the two front go inwards, and that's how you remember how to fold it. So the middle one folds back, the top and the bottom folds forward. So if you're getting confused, that's how you do it. So now we're going to just do the covers really quickly. So remember we have these two pieces we scored a uh, half an inch on all four sides just going to fold and burnish those okay grab my snips and what we're going to do is just cut them corners off like so so that when we fold it over they're not overlapping and it's not bulky alright now when you fold them over, just make sure they don't overlap there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, and that's fine. And then what you want to do is, obviously, fasten those down. So I'm going to use tear tape for that. I'll do both of these, and then I will come back. There's my two covers now they're going to be slightly larger than the card and they're meant to be all right they're meant to be because obviously you want them to layer over let me just get my glue over i seem to have gotten something on there let's see if i can get it off there we go i've got some on the back as well my uh sweaty hands i've uh, put a bit of uh, something on there I'll we'll put sort that out okay so then what you need to do at this point it's easier to use wet glue um, so that you've got a bit of wiggle room and put the glue on the actual base not on the cover so what you want to do is just very carefully add some glue try not to add too much so it doesn't warp okay. some glue all the way around there and then add your cover okay so stick it over and then just flip it over and just move it you've got room to move it about so that you've got an even gap top and bottom and front and back okay so it's nice and nice and even okay so that's the front one and then you do the same with the back it on and then because it's glue you've got time to move it so flip it over and then just move it about and then give it a press all right and that's your front and back okay so your front one is the one that opens like so so what we're going to do now is we're going to layer that with DSP now at this point if you like another th just need to move that back panel up a little bit just try and make sure that both panels meet each other at the edge as well. Mine's a little bit skew with, but it doesn't really matter. Now at this point, if you want a ribbon closure here, you'd add a strip of ribbon there and a strip of ribbon there with some tear tape. I'm not going to use ribbon today, but you can do that if you want. I'm just going to layer the front with some DSP, and I've already cut that, and it measures 3 by 3 by 9.5. Three by nine, I beg your pardon. All right, so I'm going to use glue for that 
for this because it's a big piece. I don't want to get it wonky. And I'm going for quite a plain one so that I can add some decorating. You could put strips, you could add in something that's embossed. You could, there's lots of different ways you can make these. I think they're stunning. Look at that beautiful, beautiful paper. It doesn't really need a right lot else because it's so beautiful. Um, but what I have brought to my table to help me decorate this, um, and we're just going to really quickly do a little bit of decoration. You can really go to town and decorate every single panel, or you can just decorate one and then you can decorate the cover beautifully, like I did do with my um, Wait the Time one um, here. Okay, as I say, I fussy cut all of the little turtles and then I split my DSP, stamped in the middle and then on this one I just did, so these are all fussy cut here as well. So what I'm just going to do for here, I've brought in um, some punches, I've brought in the Perfectly Plaid, which is great because it carried over from last year, so if you've already got it, you can reuse it, if you don't, it's worth buying. And I'm just going to choose... Which tree shall I have? Mm, I quite like this one. Okay, so I'm going to choose just one tree. Looks like I've got a sentiment that I've already cut from another project. So I might just uh, utilise that as well. Yeah, I think I will. Might as well. <laughs> might as well use it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going to trim those off. So this is one I've already... Um, stamped and then put to one side um, from another project. Forgot it was there, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to use my banner punch. I think. Shall I? Or shall I do it by hand? I don't know if that's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be two. I'll do it by hand, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just snip them in the centre and then go from the corner to my snip from my corner to my snip and that's one and then I'll do the same over here I'm just snipping in the centre then go from the corner and from the corner like so there we are and then I can mount that up on some dimensionals if I've got some to hand have I? Terribly, terribly dark and gloomy and rainy in Yorkshire today, um, which is why I've struggled with the lighting, but we got there in the end. Right, so I'm going to add that uh, across the middle, like so. Okay. Uh, um, that stamp has come from there, look. May the, this special season be wrapped in love and joy. Let me just move my label's gone a bit funny there okay so that's that let's just bob that to one side so I've got my sentiment I'm just going to add a couple of trees so I'm bringing in some scrap card I need a block and I chose that whimsical tree didn't I that one which I quite like because it's just a little bit different and then I've brought what have I brought? I've brought over Coastal Cabana Highland Heather and Misty Moonlight and the reason I've brought those is because those same colours are in the paper. So I think I'm going to go for a Coastal Cabana. I'm just going to stamp myself a couple of trees. I'll do them this way. If I do more than one, then I can dot them about on the inside of my card as well. Alright, so let me swap for a different kind of tree. I'm going to go for this little fir tree here and see what effect that gives me. If it's still hanging about. Is it? There it is. Just swap that over. And for this one, I'm going to use 
Highland Heather. Let's see what a, a purple tree looks like. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Do what we want. Okay. See what that looks like. I quite like that. Okay. I'll have a couple of those. And then what you can do then, you see, is layer, layer them up. Um, so let's punch these out and see what they look like. Luckily, I kept hold of my tree punch and I can just literally very quickly punch all of those out and then use them to decorate with. Same with this one. Let me just, there we go. And just trim the bottom off of that one. Right, let's just move that out of the way a minute. So on my purple one, I'm just going to trim the bottom off. Where's the other one? There it is. Alright. So what we can do here is if I glue a purple one direct to the base there. Okay, just in the bottom is a little bit of interest. And then I can use my dimensionals and add one of the other ones and kind of overlap them. You could make a whole forest of these. Okay. And then just overlap it like so. And I think I'll have another one. Have another one there? Yeah, why not? Got another one there. Okay. All right, so that's that bit done. That's that bit uh, decorated. You can always add some glitter as well if you like, or some of the sequins. And then inside, we'll just add a couple of trees on the inside, just for a little bit of interest. So I'll put one there, and I'll have one at the top. I'll have one there and one there. No, shall I have it there? Shall I have it there? No, no, I'll have it there. We've got one at each corner, and then I'm just going to add an extra sentiment there. Let me have a look. What shall we have? I think I'll have Merry Christmas. I'm just going to move my card out of the way while I stamp this Merry Christmas here. I'll use the same block, add that on, and get some, bring the scrap of cardstock in. Uh, what colour shall I fancy? I do quite like that Highland Heather. I think that's a, an awesome alternative Christmassy colour. So I'm going to use that. Plenty on. Stamp in the middle of that scrap because I'm going to use one of my label punches. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then I'm using, what am I using, what's it called? Timeless label. But you could use any or you could cut it by hand. You could layer it with coloured cardstock underneath. I'm just going to go simple and just keep it plain white. Okay, like so. What I am going to do is just bring in find one, a sponge, could do a wash in these, find a clean bit, and I'm just going to ink that, just gives it that white a softer edge, and also then you don't have to layer it on coloured cardstock, it'll still stand out. Alright. That's that done. Move that, bring it in, and we will add our sentiment. Have I got another? I'm nearly running out of uh, dimensionals. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the edge here, just pull a bit off. Pulls off quite easy, and I'll just stick that in the middle there and use that. Okay. Pull the backing off. And we'll have that. 
So I have it. I'm just going to put it in the middle one there, like so. All right. Like I say, you could decorate every single panel of that card if you liked, or leave them plain. But what awesome fun you can have with just DSP and one stamp set. Why not give it a try? Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.